All the way from the start, I can feel it in my heart, like All the way from the start Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I've got a quick video where I'm gonna answer the question. This is something that came directly from a subscriber on the channel. He was curious about what the difference is between an audio interface and a preamp. And why would you need an external preamp? Do you need an external preamp? And you know what kind of interface is gonna be the best for you? What are some things to consider? You know, these terms preamp, channel strip interface we kind of throw them around casually and i think there's some confusion out here about you know what all that means so let's just first clarify that a preamp is a component that is going to amplify the signal of your microphones right so certain mics require more gain they require more uh, power phantom power 48v you've seen this on your preamp when you activate that some require that to be powered properly and amplified properly to be fed into the interface and ultimately recorded into your computer. And those have certain characters about them because there's different types of preamps. So for instance, in my channel strip, I have a tube preamp. So that means being amplified by a tube, an actual physical tube, is gonna give you a different tone. So versus the uh, preamps that are built into my interface, which a lot of you are using audio interfaces with built-in preamps, most of these are going to be solid state, meaning they're not going through a tube. They're just actually built into the, uh, the, the board inside this uh, interface and they're digital. Now, some of you are gonna ask, well, are the preamps in my interface, are they good enough? Why would I need an external? preamp and it's exactly what we're just saying there's different tonalities so for some of you you may be working with different vocalists who have completely different vocal qualities they perform with different dynamics so different preamps are actually going to work better for you you may want to preamp with more color with more tone with more character to it the uh, preamps on my ufx interface they're pretty good but they're very sterile I would say they're they're clean they don't color the sound which is what's intended but uh i wanted a little bit more color and you know i i use different types of mics that just sound better with a bit of warmth the other thing to consider is that those of you who have you know more affordable audio interfaces they're generally cutting costs on your mic preamp component first so the quality is just usually not as good uh, with the built-in mic pre. So if you're not happy with the sound that you're getting from your pre, you may want to consider you know, getting an external. Granted, your signal flow, your converters, and your audio interface are good, which we're going to talk about here in a second. But as long as that signal flow is good, then uh, you may want, want to just step up the quality of your preamp. A lot of you have come to me and said, hey, Sean, I'm just a producer. I'm working in Logic, and you know, do I need to really consider my interface, or can I just pick up a $100 interface, plug in some headphones, and go? This is where the converter comes into play because ultimately you're having to change that signal even coming out of your computer out of Logic or Cubase or Pro Tools into an analog signal going from digital to analog and then if you've got inputs you're going analog to digital right that conversion process actually changes the way that you're monitoring what's going on there are differences in the accuracy of converters people some people will say that it's all you know in your head i've had a lot of different audio interfaces throughout the years and have definitely noticed a difference in the quality of the converters and what i'm hearing from my speakers those of you using headphones the headphone amplifier or the headphone output on your audio interface some of them are not as good a quality as others so that ultimately affects how your headphones perform, how they sound, how accurate they are. If you've ever plugged a pair of high quality monitoring headphones into your laptop and then compared them to what you're hearing out of a good audio interface with quality headphone output, you know what I'm talking about. It's definitely a different thing. All right, y'all, so I hope that gives you a little bit of clarity. Again, just uh, noting that the preamp is a single component. It is amplifying the signal for your microphone or your inputs but they are actually included in a lot of audio interfaces and then some channel strips, which this here, uh, the Aphex channel is a channel strip or input processor. It has a preamp and then we're processing that preamp signal. So just again, we've been throwing these terms around and I wanted to clarify that 
and also give you some things to consider. I still stand behind what I've said in the past, which is the audio interface is the most important thing in your studio for producers, for mix engineers, for artists, if you're doing recording, because it is controlling everything that's going in and out audio wise into your DAW and it's controlling how you're monitoring that. So you don't want to slack on that. You want to get something that's doing a good job with everything that we just talked about. And as far as the preamps, again, the preamp is going to give you different character depending on what type of preamp and the quality of that preamp. So for those of you recording using microphones, different microphones, you're going to want to consider possibly having an external pre if the onboard preamps in your audio interface are of inferior quality. Hope this helps y'all. If you have any questions about audio interfaces, preamps, or how to make the best decision for what you need in your studio, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. We'll talk to you soon.